So I want to show you this. This is the Vox, Auto Vox Solar One Pro Wireless Backup Camera. Uh, they sent me this, uh, very kindly sent me this to show you. Um, I actually have a Vox uh, rear camera. I've actually got a front and rear camera mounted to my van, along with my built-in camera that comes standard with the Ford van. Uh, that standard one is very low and it shows you everything. It's perfect for parking the vehicle, absolutely brilliant. Uh, but I fitted a high level one on the top of my tailgate, on the top of my van. So when I've got my bikes on the back and the racks down, and I can't see how far this is, because obviously my, my parking camera's below, um, my rack comes out wider. So I've got a high level camera that shows me the back of the rack um, and also get a really good view. And I've got a front mounted camera because I take my van, because I do a lot of landscape photography, Landscape Vlogography Adventures is our Facebook group. Um, I do a lot of photography on my YouTube channel and I tuck my van in some very small spaces and the front camera just helps me to move up right close to rock. Uh, so when I'm sort of trying to turn the vehicle around. So having the front and rear camera is really good. So Vox has sent me this. Um, they didn't know I've already got a camera. They asked if I could take a look at this. This is new in the UK. This is wireless. This is this is a wireless unit. I've already done an unboxing. Um, if you want to see the unboxing, I'll put a link up for you so you can have a look at it. Uh, basically, you get a, a small monitor and um, a charging pack. So you get this that you plug into your cigarette lighter. I am going to use my Jackery with my 12 volt power supply for plugging my cigarette lighter in because my um, sockets in the front of the van are completely full up. So for this uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this and plug this in and show you how it works. Uh, you also get a charging lead um, for your camera. This is your camera with your um, solar panel on it. So this mounts to a number plate. Hence the number plate I've got sitting on the side there because I won't be putting it on the back of my van because once it's on the back, I won't be able to fit it, but I'm going to fit it to my wife's vehicle because she doesn't actually have a camera on her car and I'm going to fit this to her car for her. So yeah, I'm just going to show you for demonstration purposes. I'm going to mount it to this and show you how it works. Uh, basically you get the camera so you can mount it on your number plate. Um, you can either mount it on this way and have it that way up. So you get it that way or you can mount it on the bottom like that and have it on the bottom. It doesn't matter which way up you have it. Um, you've got the camera on the side there and you can tilt the camera up and down. As you can see like that, if I'm just so sideways on, you can tilt the camera down and you can tilt the camera up depending on where you want it and uh, what you want it pointing at. And the solar panel then will actually pick up your solar. Now, this is really designed, I think, to go on the top because it's got a slight angle on the side there. If you can see on the side of this solar panel there, it's slightly angled up. So it is designed to go on the top of your number plate, but you might find you want to fit it on the bottom, but I'm going to try and put it on the top for you and show you how it works. It comes with a sticky pad, so you can actually stick it on the back. Uh, you stick that to the back of the metal plate and then you stick that on your number plate. Uh, so that's what stops it from coming off. Very, very simple, very easy. There are no wires on this. This is completely wireless. Um, there are no wires on this whatsoever. Charge it up in the end there. You put a little USB socket on the end, which is what your extra cable comes with. So you can plug that in and charge it up. Once it's fully charged, there's a little green light on the inside. Once it's green light comes on, it shows it's fully charged. And on the other end, you have an on and off button, a power button. If you're not going to use this for more than half a month, they recommend that you turn it off. It will extend the battery life. Um, but you can actually leave this powered on, switched on permanently, and it should last um, a couple of months uh, without actually having getting any power whatsoever. But you will get a little bit of sunlight every so often. That's going to keep it charged. There is a power indicator on here. I'm going to show you that as well. A power indicator on here, which shows you how much charge you've got in your camera at the back. But with this being wireless, you can fit it anywhere. This is the unit. There are no cables to go with this whatsoever. Absolutely brilliant idea. The one I've got fitted in the van at the moment, I've had to find a uh, power supply to get it powered up. And some of them have to have the camera connected to the front of the van. With this, you could put this on a van, a lorry or anything, and it will work. You also get this sucker mount, which goes on the back of your monitor. And then you can suck this to the window standard or to your dashboard or wherever you want to suck it to. So I'm not going to mount it to anything at the moment, um, but I am going to just sort of show you demonstration purposes. On the side, we've also got uh, an up and down button and a, a, a manual button, an M button. Uh, you basically press the memory button and then you've got the up and down for going up and down through your menus. And I'm going to quickly show you the menus on that as well. First of all, we're going to mount this to the top of here and we're going to attach this to the side of the vehicle so that you can see how this works. Um, yeah, I just don't really want to show my number plate live online for everyone to see. You know what this, this world is like at the moment. Everyone's trying to rob something.
It's very simple to do. You basically unscrew your number plate, which like I say, mine's balanced on here at the moment. You unscrew your number plate, you put your sticky pad on the back there, you lean your number plate forward, and you stick it on to your number plate. That is as simple and easy as it gets. And then just angle the camera down slightly. My other camera is there. You can see it's mounted on the front. That's where my actual camera is for my reversing camera. So I'm going to show you the difference between that and that once we get going. But we're touted, tilt it down a little bit so it's looking down. But we're not going to drive off because this isn't connected. One other thing you have to do before you walk away is on the side there's a small button. You press the button, a little red light comes on the side, and the red light will come on for a little while, and then it turns itself off, which means it's ready to run. You just leave that switched on. So the only thing you really have to decide then is where you want to mount your monitor. Um, you can mount it in front of your dashboard, you can stick it on your windscreen. Um, my actual camera's built in there, I've got my other monitor attached to my rear view mirror so you just have to decide where you want to put this where you want to see the monitor and then we get the monitor clips onto the bracket very very simply and easily you just put it on and slide it into place for this demonstration purposes i'm going to just leave the monitor balanced somewhere on here so i can see it and hopefully you can see it as well let's connect this cable up and uh, plug it in the cigarette lighter one cable on the end you have a little tiny um, plug with four little holes and a line to line it up that goes in the end of your cigarette lighter socket there I said I'm going to use my Jackery power unit so that I can show you how this works with my other cameras that I've actually got on the vehicle and uh, my cigarette lighter is for full up if you don't have one of these Jackery power units I highly recommend using them uh, they're very very good for things like this if you need to plug something in the cigarette lighter or uh, you might want to power a 240 volt uh, power supply and you've also got USBs on this. So if you're in a van or even in your car and uh, you want a good bit of power, I do recommend these jackeries. Right, I'm just going to switch that on for you now. The power's on and as I turn the power on, the actual unit comes on live at the back and uh, there is a USB socket in there and there's a small button on the front there and I'll show you what that little button's for in a moment. I'm hoping you can see the monitor. Uh, there is a plastic cover on it. I'm just going to peel the plastic cover off. So I'm hoping you can see the monitor. The monitor is on my dashboard there. Like I say, I haven't mounted it properly, but I'm going to balance it there just for now. And my actual monitor for my vehicle on the side, and I just want to flick this on for you just to show you what it looks like. The car's already in reverse, and you can see that on my screen there, I've got these two lines, and that shows me where my uh, camera is. So that's my rear reversing camera. And my other camera then is up on the top, which is up here. And then with this one, I have to press my power button to switch the power on. You can see there, my other camera is showing the back of my vehicle uh, from a high level. And that's simply controlled by the power button on the front there. So we're here to show you this one. So let's get this set up and we'll show you it works. All right, so this is our monitor on our dashboard. If I put this up in front there for you, you can see my power unit. Just move it over. So this is our plug socket plugged into our cigarette lighter which is obviously down there so all we want to do when we want to switch this on we literally just have to press the button like that once and it will turn the power on just like that you can now see the rear view mirror this is actually showing the back of the vehicle and uh, this will stay on for 45 seconds i've got it set up uh, when you want it it will just go off on its own and once it goes off on its own you're then driving along you can see on the top there you've got this indicator this is your power indicator to show me that i've got a full charge on the battery arrow lines as well you've got your parking squares this can actually be adjusted i'm just going to go over you a quick show you how that works as well but the screen's very very clear it's nice and bright as well so i'm quite impressed with that so far but yeah 45 seconds and that should uh, go off on its own You can see that it's now gone off. There's nothing on the screen whatsoever, which means the camera on the back of the van has gone into standby. And uh, this is now in standby mode as well. If you're driving along and then suddenly you want to reverse the vehicle again, or you want to see what's going on behind you, you just reach over and you touch the button and it comes back on and it switches on the back camera at the same time as well. So uh, yeah, perfect for all those reversing needs and you don't have to touch it then. It's all uh, automatic. The program in this, it's very, very simple. You've got the buttons on the side, you've got a center M button and you've got the up and down button. So you basically, basically press your uh, center button and we're gonna do this in front of you. So first of all, you've got pair. Uh, you can see the pair there. Uh, we don't need to pair it because it's already paired straight out of the box. 
Uh, as you flick through them, you've got a reset button. Let's go back again. We've got a brightness control, so you press the middle button in the contrast, so you can go on to brightness. You can press OK, and then you can turn the brightness up if you want to, or turn the brightness down. Uh, we can then go to contrast. We can hit the contrast button and soften the contrast or make the contrast deeper and darker. So we're keep, going to keep it one under, I think, for this. And then you can go to um, your MU control. This basically turns the camera upside down. So if you've mounted your camera uh, side by side and it's mirrored, you then go into this and it mirrors the image. So you can flick it over to normal, which is normal mode. And then you can go back in and you can flick it to mirror mode. So mirror, normal. So I think it should be on mirror. I think it's on mirror. Okay, then if you've turned the camera upside down, let's say you've mounted it on the other side of your number plate and you want it the other way up, you can have downside up or upside down. So let's just go through again. It's just remembering which buttons to press. Upside down, right side up, upside down, right side up. We need to keep it right side up on this one. The next one, we've got our timer, which is our reversing timer. So 45 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, or 120 seconds, which is basically two minutes. So it'll stay on for two minutes if you wanted it to, and then it'll go off. So it just depends on how quick you are for parking. Um, I'm gonna keep it set to 45 seconds because I think that's enough for now. And then we've got our guidelines. When we're on our guidelines, you can turn the guidelines on or off. You can see them appearing on the bottom of the screen there. They're now on and then they're off, just down at the bottom. So if I go to off, you can see there's no guidelines at all whatsoever. If you go back in again, right, guidelines, and we turn them back on again. All right, now we've got our guidelines are on. That's it, simple. It really is as easy as that. Now, as for picture and picture quality, I'm just gonna take you off the dashboard for a moment and get a bit closer to it. So you can actually have a look and see what the picture quality is like. You can see there that the picture quality is really good. And if I was reversing this vehicle, you'd know that I was right up close to the rocks uh, where the red lines are. Now, if I go to my dash and actually put my own camera on, you'll get an idea of what you get to see on the back of that. So my camera is very much wider on that one than it is on this one, but you can then aim it down and you'll get a better view of what's going on behind. So I think it's a really good idea. And then after 45 seconds, that's just gonna go off and then uh, we can carry on driving. Uh, just having a quick look in the uh, manual. Uh, the manual's in a couple of different languages as well. It shows you a list of all the bits you get. You also get a small Allen key and uh, a spare screw, which is the anti-theft screws. Um, so that it stops you from sliding the actual thing off. If you do want to remove it one and charge it indoors rather than plugging it in with a power supply, because yeah, I've got these small power banks and power supplies like this, that I can actually plug this USB in and charge it on the back of the vehicle. Um, and know that it's going to be charged up ready to go but if i've got sunshine on it it's going to keep it charged anyway but there's a small screw on the actual unit you undo the screw and slide it out and take it indoors for charging it does say that 100 percent it will last for 75 days that's fully charged and if it gets down to 20 percent, which is one bar it will last for another 10 days and we'll need charging battery working days it says 75 days at um, 60 degrees c uh, if it goes down to minus, let's say down to zero degrees, it will still last uh, 57 days. Yeah, it, it, in, all, in all fairness, it's, there's nothing really I can tell you about it. It's, it's so easy. It's, it's one of the easiest cameras I've ever installed. Um, and let's face it, if you wanted a camera indoors, let's say you wanted a, a small camera indoors and you didn't want it on your car, you could actually mount this in your kitchen or anywhere you wanted to and have the camera mounted above the front door. You can actually see who's at the front door by this small monitor. And all you need is a small power supply like this to keep it plugged into. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I really do. So I really do hope this was helpful. Um, when I make videos, I make them very raw and very rough. And this is what it is. It's, it's keeping it real, keeping it simple. All I had to do was literally take this, mount this to the windscreen or the dashboard, plug this into the 12 volt power supply and it's ready to go. And like I say, all you have to do is when you want to switch it on again, if you watch that screen there, all you have to do is just press your button once and your screen comes on. Okay, so it is as quick and as simple as that. That is all you have to do. You stick it to your number plate, you come around the front, press your button on your power supply and it comes on. It will stay on there for 45 seconds as I've got it set to, or you can have it on for two minutes. Um, 
and then it will just go off on its own. So even if you're driving along and you want to know what's going on behind you, if you're in a van, say, and you want to see if there's any traffic or cars or anything hidden behind you, just press the button once and it'll bring up the screen. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. The fact it's wireless and you don't have to find a power supply like I've had to with my ones, I think it's an absolutely brilliant idea. So this is the AutoVox Solar One Pro wireless backup camera. Um, link will be in the description below. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask and I will do my utmost to try and uh, find out for you if I don't already know. But it's foolproof. It is so easy to use. Smart, safe and easy. Brilliant idea. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And um, yeah, till next time I get another gadget or something interesting to show you. Uh, ciao for now. Bye bye.